role. Uh, been the resident director for the past three years here, um, both for Burns and Ray, um, every single year. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, and I moved here and I actually just got my master's degree from Waynesburg in Addictions Counseling, so uh, that's one of the things that I'm pretty passionate about is uh, promoting for the health and wellness model of uh, people struggling with substance abuse rather than uh, the crime and punishment model, um, as well as promoting advocacy both here on campus um, and with that in the larger community um, as a whole. Uh, you can catch me and the other RDs um, within the Res Life office, which is on the third floor of Stover, or within our respective departments, uh, that we'll hang out with each other occasionally, so you might see us all walking around together. Outside of that, my time at Waynesburg has been awesome. Uh, I went to a large uh, state school for my undergrad um, in a major city, and so this is a very, very different experience, a smaller private Christian school. and. Yeah, it's just been awesome. One of my favorite parts about it has been uh, the Faith Incorporation uh, into Winsburg. I love being able to talk with students um, about the Lord um, and about what their faith journey has looked like thus far and uh, where they feel like the Lord's taking them or even if they're uh, struggling with that aspect because college is a time of figuring out um, who you are and what you want to be. Um, and so, uh, yeah, just having those uh, late night conversations is something that I've always loved. Um, as well as the service component of Waynesburg I've led a mission trip. It's just awesome to have that bonding experience with students, but also watch students uh, grow, as well as I just love service. Uh, we're gonna be talking about Burns, which is right behind me. Um, uh, Burns has about 100 residents inside three different floors. It's uh, one of our all-female halls. It's a mixture of freshmen and upperclassmen. Uh, there are two entryways. This is the main entryway. Uh, on the side of campus. It's at the very top of the hill, so you walk past the chapel, come up the ramp, in, and there's Burns. There's also another entryway on the other side of the building uh, where the parking lot is. Both of those entries are key swipes, so we'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, the coolest thing about Burns is probably it's the only female hall that has um, a foosball table and an air hockey table. So we're going to head inside. We also have these nice uh, patio furniture that I didn't talk about. So here is nice outdoor seating. Wi-Fi actually reaches out here, so you can do homework out here if you'd like. All right, come on in out of the rain. Um, so all of our residence halls feature a swipe key card access. So um, you have to either swipe, and then you swipe to get into your room. So since I live here, my card works for it. You just put it in here, hear that noise, doors open, and you come on in. Nobody who doesn't live in the building can use their ID to get into the rest hall. So, sit here. All right, so now that we're inside the building, I want to highlight some of the building features. So first, right at the entryway, you have these two bulletin boards here. Um, they are always going to show your resident assistant information. And so the resident assistants are student leaders on the floor that can help you if you're locked out, help you with homework, help you with roommate conflict, anything like that. They're always walking around um, during the evenings, at least one of them, so you'll be able to see and connect with them. Uh, but you can always see more information about them, as well as you can see who's on duty tonight. So if you are locked out or have an issue, you can go find that particular resident assistant. Uh, now we're in the Burns lobby area, so this is the only lobby area um, that, yeah, go ahead and look around. Uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? So this is the only lobby area that, um, has seating out here, so it's pretty common for uh, even like a Bible study to be held right up uh, top here or homework to be done, different things like that. So we're going to go into our first of two lounges as well. Come on in, have a look around. It is top full of furniture, so this is all new furniture. Uh, we got it um, over the summer last year, um, so they have some funky pattern couches, um, a giant new couch for the new TV, as well as hot top tables and these lower uh, X-shaped tables, um, which makes for good homework spots, but also good game nights. And there's a lot of outlets in here and Wi-Fi's throughout the whole building, so you can do homework or play games or whatever uh, anywhere in the building. So we just came out of the upper lounge and now we're going to head to the laundry and the lower lounge. 
Okay, so the laundry room is right in here. Uh, put that away for you guys. So we have three washers and four dryers. These work uh, via a card. You'll get a laundry card uh, that you can load money onto uh, from a machine in the Stover Center. Uh, but you can also utilize the laundry app. So with the app, you can just load laundry right onto um, your your account on the app and then scan your phone um, and it's Bluetooth operated. So once you have your Bluetooth on, you can scan the little Q code um, and start the laundry cycle. So that's the laundry room. features two different things. So first down here, um, we have the vending machines and the community kitchen. So uh, with the community kitchen, you can cook your own food. We have a full service stove, um, as well as a sink. This is a new addition down here uh, within the last two years. So um, residents love this part. Uh, you are free to store uh, your dishes down here or anything like that. Just keep in mind that it is store at your own risk. Um, but residents have put down, like, you can't keep toasters in your room, so they put the toaster down here and let anyone use it, that kind of thing. We also have a uh, full-size fridge that you can keep food in. Um, as long as you label it with your name and room number, usually people won't touch it. Uh, and there's a microwave for you to use down here. Uh, and then if we go in here, a second lounge area, so there's a lot more tables down here um, for group studying, cramming during finals. Um, you can see the air hockey table um, right there, always fun to play with. Um, and then, yeah, more seating area in this direction as you uh, look around. And the foosball table in the back. So, uh, Burns definitely has uh, some of the best lounge space on campus, um, in my a little bit of biased opinion. Um, and, yeah, there's a lot of areas for you to kind of do your own thing. Multiple groups have been in here at once and it hasn't been an issue or anything like that. So the lodges are cool. All right, cool. So we are gonna move into a room now. You can see the bathrooms. We have community bathrooms on every floor um, on your right. Though, so, like I said, we have the key card access. So if you, you are assigned to room 115, uh, your ID card will work to get in here. Um, a typical room set up in here, so um, beds on either side. Each student gets this nice uh, big wardrobe. Um, this, these are unique to Burns as well. Um, the other two freshman halls have something different, but I think that the wardrobe desk combo is probably um, one of the best out here, um, as well as it comes with a mirror, and there's a little shower rack, uh, towel rack right here um, as well. So there's tons and tons of storage in here. Uh, but yeah, if you come on in, um, this is a typical setup, so you'll have, um, most rooms will come with a higher bed and a lower bed. You can set up the rooms pretty much however you want, but when you come in um, on move-in day, this will be the typical setup that you'll see. The two desks with the chairs, uh, the two beds, and the two wardrobes. Uh, Burns is pretty straightforward. Um, each room also comes with um, Comcast equipment, so you can set up your own cable. There's only one uh, set of Comcast equipment per room, so typically roommates will share. If only one person brings a TV, they'll share that. Or if two people do bring a TV, only one TV can be set up to, to the cable, just so you know. Uh, so that's a typical room setup. Uh, I really hope that you uh, enjoy your time at Winsburg. Um, it's a pretty special place, um, and your college experience is going to be when you make it. So. Uh, if you get out there, uh, get involved in different stuff, find things that you're interested in, connect with people, um, it'll be a good time.